Hello. In this video, I'm going to be going over the solution to number one right off your Unit 7 test review. This assignment is set up the same way that our other test reviews have been set up. Each question has a video linked in it, and the video will go over the solutions. You do have three attempts on this assignment, so if you want to try it one time without watching the solution videos, just to see how it goes, go ahead and do that. Then if you don't get 100%, just make sure to view your assessment and any question that you didn't get the full points for, you're going to want to go back and try that question again and watch the video so that on your final submission you get 100% and you know how to do these questions when it comes to test day. The actual Unit 7 test will be very, very similar to the problems on this test review. Let's go ahead and get started. So we want to find the GCF of each polynomial and then drag and drop the numbers and variables to complete each GCF. For example, if the GCF was 3x squared, we'd put a 3 in the first box and an x squared in the second box. When you're looking at two numbers like 12 and 30, you want to find the biggest number that divides evenly into both 12 and 30. You might see it right away, but if you don't, you can always list out factor pairs. I'm going to list out the factor pairs of 12, which are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Now in that list, I want to find the biggest number that also divides evenly into 30. Well, starting at 12, that does not divide into 30, but 6 does. So 6 is the biggest number they have in common. And now for the GCF of the variables, it has to be how many x's they have in common. So this one has x to the fourth, that's four x's multiplied together. And this one has x to the third, which is three x's multiplied together. It's always going to be the smallest exponent on the variable. So that would make it x to the third. So you'll drag and drop those into the boxes. Then on part B, we have 14, 42, and 28. Again, I'm going to start by listing out my factor pairs of 14 which are 1 times 14 or 2 times 7. Beginning at the largest number of 14, 14 does divide evenly into 42. 42 divided by 14 is 3. And then 28 divided by 14 is 2. So this GCF here is actually 14. And then for our variables, it's always the smallest exponent on the variables. So that would mean if I have x to the fifth, x to the third, and just a plain x, x is the smallest exponent. x is like an x to the first, remember? So 14x would be our greatest common factor. 